Today, I'm going to be putting strangers to the test to see if they'll lie to protect themselves or do the right thing and tell the truth. I've never lied personally. That's a lie. I've never lied. There's a lie detector disagreeing with you. All right, try another one. Do you think you're better than Mr. Beast? No, everyone's equal. That's a lie. That's pathetic. I'm not lying. Lie. You set this up. I thought this was gonna be a good intro. And obviously I was wrong, but the good news is we aren't testing me. We're testing these guys. And that starts right now with, basically I've rented out an entire actual boba restaurant here in Hollywood. And I brought my friend Aniela in here. Wow, she's uh, she's hideous, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's a really not beautiful. Yeah. And attractive. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Our goal today is to be her wingmen. We brought in all of these guys, and little did they know, we're gonna see if they lied or not on their dating profile about how tall they are. Everyone lies by one inch. I tend to go up a foot. A foot? I'm a short man. All right, let's bring the first boy in. Hi. What's your name? Right. Nice to meet you. Right. I forgot to tell you guys, we also armed her with the most uncomfortable date questions possible. Yeah. Do you want to like measure hands? Sure. Oh, your hands are kind of small. Hey. <laughs> a little sweaty too. Um, well, how tall are you? 6'4". Six 6'4". Four. Six four. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, the height verifier. Take off your shoes! <laughs> you said you're 6'4". Yeah. Hey, Dude, look at me, I'm um, closer. Yes. I swear, if you're lying to that sweet girl over there, yeah. I will end you. Better be telling the truth. All right, let's, let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Oh. Looks like you are. Yeah, he actually checks out at 5'10 and a half. 5'10! 5'10! And a half! Honestly, that's, that makes sense, because I'm a liar. Get out! Get out! And never come back to this place again! Bro, it was <laughs> tense in there, and Yellow was verbally destroying Royce. It makes me think if he lied about being 6'4", all of these guys have to be lying, because that guy has nothing to lie about. We also have a bug in Yellow's ear. If we wanted to say anything or do anything, we can do that. And Yellow just... Give a thumbs up to the camera if you can hear me. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, I act. Cut him off and say, put your jacket back on. Put your jacket back on? Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> you stinky. <laughs> Smells a little bit. I smell a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'9. Five 5'7. Five seven. Five seven. Six foot. Six foot. Here we go, here we go. Get up, get up, get up. All right, stop smacking my butt. It's me, Hot Patrol. <laughs> oh, he's so nervous, bro. We're gonna find out if you're lying or not, Arlen. I got a lot of hair, so, uh... I'll push it down, don't worry. The arm is coming down. All right, I'm gonna bring it on down. Five seven on a good day, let's see. I'm guessing five five. <laughs> All right, looks like you are six foot. Six foot tall. I'm lying, you're five ten. Fire! <laughs> well, I promise you. According to my floor license, six more. Out of here! Five, seven, and three quarters! Liars! Man, the measuring tape doesn't lie, bro. I don't know what to say. It looks like uh, my boy here is actually right on the dot. He's five, five! He's five, five! Look, look, look. I, dude, you think I'm playing games? Uh, you want to put the shoes on for me? Let me have. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to get the f out. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, yes. you are I am. five. Eight! eight. You're five eight! Oh, 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 How does it feel to be the only truthful man in Los Angeles? Nothing. That is how I grew up, so... Respect. All right, boys. You guys can keep doing your date. We're just gonna... All right. Looks like these guys are gonna keep on going. We should just go to the next one, right? Let them continue to date in private. Well, what if they don't work out? Then maybe me and Tyler can try. No. Okay, come on. We're going. Out. 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 <laughs> well, we aren't starting off uh, great. The score is one true third of four liars, but I'm not giving up on humanity quite yet. With the help of my two friends, we're going to be exposing liars in the workplace. You see, three weeks ago, I put out a real job listing at a fake company that I created. Welcome to Leonard Ivy. Get it? The acronym? Lie. 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 
Why? But in the bottom of the job listing, I added some additional qualifications. Can speak pig Latin, can solve a Rubik's Cube, perform CPR, can handle a reptile. And these five real people said they meet all of the qualifications and agreed to an in-person interview. Now all that's left is to see if they were telling the truth. Sit down. What was your name? Tate. Tate. Nice yes. to meet you. That was a good shake, too. Ow, oh, hey, are ye, ooh, ye. Did you pick, did you learn the pig Latin? <laughs> was one of the requirements on here. Um, Ow, oh, hey, are hey, ooh, a. Hey. Sorry. Um, uh, um. Oh, no. Turkey play. Charismatic K. <laughs> I don't even know how to tell if that was real. I a e de actus prey. Ut be ut me butch me. Oh my god. Oh. A o a i a y y. Jesse saying nothing. That's not real. Rubik's cube. I'm not gonna be fast, but I was. Ma practicing. Can you? He's been practicing for it, bro. Am I closing your eyes? I don't want to close them. Maybe cover it just in case you can hear the strokes. I was gonna get you to. Uh, let me. I'm sorry. Dude, John looks pretty confident, he bro. He does, he does. All right. I don't know how to do it at all. You don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it at all. You liar, bro. I cannot believe this is happening. Oh, dude, go on, try to. Oh! I don't think he's gonna get it, bro. I'm gonna have to call it on the cube. Bro, this is brutal already. We're gonna do a CPR test. Just perform on this little guy. This is Patrick. Oh no, he looks so guilty. Patrick. Show me what you would do if, let's just say, Patrick just choked. Oh, what the? What the frick? Kalima does not know CPR. First thing I would do would be this. <laughs> <laughs> John guaranteed that that guy died. Leonard is so upset. Are you okay with reptiles? Yeah, absolutely. In this workplace, we have lots of different reptiles. Is that okay with you, or is that something that... Could I see you with a reptile? <laughs> sure. I feel like if anybody's gonna not like reptiles, it's gonna be Kalima. Oh, he's got two. And nope. I... Not comfortable. This is the wildest stare down of all time. Right. Oh, he is not comfortable around he, reptiles. He's paying right now. He is not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a fat lizard. Oh my god. He's like a giant meatloaf. So you're you're pretty you are pretty comfortable with these guys. See how long the tails are on these guys? It's crazy. He just took his Apple Watch. Also, Richard, always watch your surroundings. I think you learned something here, didn't you? Well, uh, t it turns out that everyone lied on their application, and after paying each of them for their time, we moved on to hopefully restore my faith in humanity. Mac, you have any idea what we're doing right now? Well, judging by the military-grade camera setup <laughs> we got going on. This is actually like a super spy setup right here. So we sent Tyler home. Dude does not think we're shooting anymore today. We're about to do a liar test on Tyler that I like to call Remember Me. So I basically hired an actress to come up to Tyler and try to convince him that she's his aunt. And we're gonna see if Tyler agrees with her just to get out of the social awkwardness right. or is honest and says, I have no idea who the F Exactly. Is. And Beans has convinced Tyler to come to this coffee shop right here. And if he does lie, it will be caught in 4K. We've basically done a deep dive on Tyler's entire real life family. And we've worked her into a realistic story that, that she was married to his uncle Rick, which is a real guy. All right, where do you have the time to do all this stuff, man? I'm a deeply disturbed man, so. Got it. Yeah. Okay. While we wait for Tyler, I've got some chicken, noodles, and pizza pie. This right here is a little sauce I invented called pizza pie. Makes anything taste like pizza. And pizza pie was built on Shopify. Put some in my mouth. God help me. Shopify is a commerce platform that lets you sell products in person or online anywhere in the world. Pizza pie is like the fifth business that I've started with them. And I literally wouldn't trust anybody else. Oh God. And not only did I use Shopify to set up a product page for this bottle, I set up a product page for apparel and Pizzafy dippables. Now available. Last week was actually the world launch of Pizzafy, and it was so cool because on the back end, I could see the map of the thousands of you guys exploring the website, which was so cool. By the way, if you weren't one of those people on the website, I'm giving away free pizza for life to one person who orders Pizzafy this month. Am I up for grabs for that? No. Okay. Building a brand like Pizza Pie has been challenging, but it's also super rewarding. Yo, yo, that's Tyler. Here we go, 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 here we go. What the? <laughs> this is crazy. Bro, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Wait, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Tyler? Oh yeah, how are you? Oh my God, do you remember me? I remember you, from where? Tiff. So if you wanted to join other entrepreneurs in 175 different countries and build the businesses of your dream, you should go to shopify.com slash Eric and start today. So my son loves your channel. Oh, that's so cool. So I was at Bill and Michelle's wedding. In Georgia? Yes. <laughs> 
Okay. That is insane that you're here right now. Should we, we like should exchange, exchange numbers? Exchange numbers? <laughs> Dude. I dated Ryan for like a hot minute. My Uncle Ryan? Yeah, that's why I was at the wedding. Oh my gosh, she is amazing. So you thought you remembered me. You recognized me just now when I came up. Yeah, of course I do. Ah, Tyler, you liar. You liar. You are a compulsive liar. He's just trying to be nice, man, you know? But he is a lying piece of Here's the deal. I'm just gonna let him drive back home and we're not gonna say anything to him about this until the end of the video. I, I said we don't say anything about it until it's posted. <laughs> On to the next one. Even Tyler is contributing to the lie counter. Hopefully in this next scenario, we find some people who will tell the truth. Trick or treat. It's Halloween. I'm Spider-Man. I'm the Hulk. Ah, Iron Man. I'm an IRS agent. We have two cameras hidden. We've got one bowl of candy that says take one. So we're gonna see if we can catch some kids who steal more than one piece of candy. I've got about five concert level speakers outside that are just gonna blow kids' ears out if they, <laughs> they try to take some candy. I feel like one of you guys needs to go stand out there and just withstand how loud this is. Put this on. I don't hear a thing. Hey, boy. Oh. <laughs> that is so loud, bro. Kind of hurt my left ear a little. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Wait, does it say one? Jeez! <laughs> I haven't got candy yet from this house. Take only one. Here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, you took two. Get him. Hey! Take one! Oh, get him. Welcome to prison! <laughs> only take one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should have somebody on the side of the house in a ghillie suit that's just ready to scare and grab them. You know what, Eric? I'm not doing it. There's not a chance I'm not getting paid enough to do this. I'm an easy man to convince. What can I say? Oh, there's people coming. There's people coming. Oh. There's people coming. Jeff says please take one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sweet boy. I want him. For your honesty, I'm giving you all the king size bars. Keep being honest. You just scared that kid for no reason? Uh, I anticipated thievery. He didn't steal anything. I'm just ready for action, all right? Okay. I'll be honest. I am deeply disturbed by this liar versus truth counter. Humanity, please, please let's get these numbers up. Now for this last bit, Jack, who you may know from our other videos, is too young to get into bars. So two weeks ago, I had a fake ID made for him, set up a fake bar, filled it with actors, a fake bouncer, and a fake cop to test his honesty. Will Jack lie like the rest, or come clean like the good little boy he is? <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks so much. What up? You're good. Here you go. ID, please. Thank you. Jack had successfully made it into the bar and was partying with the boys. However, his real test of honesty was just now beginning. Hey, excuse me. I need you to step upstairs with me right now. Sir? Can you please step upstairs with me real quick? What's wrong? I'm not going to ask you again. Let me see your ID. Is this the ID you used in the These bar? are fake when they get in. They gave me a fake one. Who gave you a fake one? My boss, Eric. I'm just an employee. Do you know what altering a federal document is? They told me that I have to get in with a fake ID because they wouldn't let me get in. Sit down on the curb real quick. Sit down on the curb. Get your head up. I want to see your face. Hey, I'm sorry. You should talk to my boss because he was the one who gave it to me. Hey, what's going on? This guy's accusing one of you guys of giving him a fake ID. Unfortunately, he came in with a fake ID. Well, unfortunately, so, this entire thing's a bit, and this is a joke on Jack. Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh, he's back. <laughs> he told the truth, man. Oh, was I gonna lie to a cop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the final score came down to three truthers and 20 liars. But I'm not giving up on humanity quite yet. If this video gets four likes, I'm making another sequel. And lastly, for your entertainment, I'm bringing back Tyler's fake aunt to confront him. Oh, dude, that worked too well. Got him, Tyler. What the heck? Remember oh, the part earlier where you lied about knowing her? No! Oh, oh, Inception! Oh, Inception! Oh,